Hi, it's Rob from Zedings. Today I want to talk to you about the activity feed, which is one of the most popular aspects of Zedings. Activity is all about you having a conversation with your participants, so that it's not a one-way discourse, but really a collaboration that everyone can participate in. So activity is located up here on the left-hand side, and let's open it up. So activity is a space where your participants can post comments and questions, and it's really great when you want to um, you know, empower people that are often too shy to stand up and ask a question, or those people that think that their question is silly, but really it's the one that everyone is thinking and wants answered. This is a safe space where they can share, you can allow them to do it anonymously, or at the very least privately, and so they feel comfortable you know, telling you exactly what they think and what's on their mind. It allows you to be a much more effective presenter. So let's run through how it works. Firstly, at the top is the space where you can post a new comment. I'll just say, hello. And instantly that gets populated into the feed. You'll see because I'm the presenter, it's actually picked up my profile picture. It's also automatically populated uh, the name of this account. For participants, it will display either a question mark or speech marks, depending on if it's a question or comment. It's useful to display the profile picture for the presenter so people know those are coming directly from you rather than another participant. You'll notice that each um, post also has a reply button underneath it. Let's click that. This is a space where you can either you can respond or your participants can respond to the questions. So I'll just say hi. Great. You'll also notice that when you drill down into the reply view, there's a delete button next to each uh, initial post and the replies. Clicking it can clear it. Participants are able to delete their own posts and you are able to delete posts from both from participants and obviously ones you post yourself. Participants are not however able to delete each other's posts. Let's go back. There's also a like button on each um, post. This is a really good way of allowing your participants to identify which questions or comments resonate with them most. And for you as a presenter, it's a really quick way of knowing which questions people most want answered. You'll notice at the top, you can sort the feed by the most recent comments or by the ones that get the most likes. So it's really an opportunity to crowdsource the questions people most want answered. Next, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's a hashtag with a number. That number represents the slide that you were displaying when the comment was posted. So you can see this has hashtag one because I'm on the first slide of the 62 page presentation. Don't worry, we're not gonna go through the 62 pages. If I turn to the next page and I post a new comment, I'll help you do a question this time. How's your day going? you'll notice that that's now a two. And these are live links, so I can click and it will take me exactly back to the place that I was when that question or comment was posted. Next up is a feature that I love, and that is the display feature. You can pick any comment or question that your participants post and instantly display it on the big screen. So let's take this one. All I have to do is click display and it instantly blows up on my content area. This can also be shown in full screen. Now, one of the things that's a really great technique is that you can sign into your Zedings account with, um, with your mobile phone. And during your presentation, you can use your, your phone to pick which comments you want to display whilst your laptop is connected to the main screen in full screen, displaying them like this. Let's jump back. The other way to display uh, posts in the activity feed, so I'm just going to hide this one, is what we call the activity wall. Let's open that up. The activity wall is a space where comments and questions fly in in real time as they posted. And as you can see, they're displayed a bit like, uh, a, bit like a Twitter wall. Now, each comment you can also see has the number of likes. And down the side here, you can actually sort the feed by the most likes or by the most recent as well. This is a really good way of getting everyone's attention. You put it up on a big screen, in full screen. Um, it can be used for brainstorming, gathering questions, and using the likes, you can identify which questions uh, people most want answered. They'll automatically float to the top. 
I'll give you a quick look at what this looks like in a live setting. You can see here, you know, it looks great on a big screen, everyone's questions and comments populating in real time. Now, there are a few settings that you can use to control the activity feed. So let's take a look at those now. They're located in the settings screen. I'll click that. And if you scroll down to your preferences, open up activity, you've got a few things you're able to do here. The first is you can choose to turn activity on and off. You can also choose to keep posts private. What this means is that comments or questions that your participants post will only be visible to you. Let's tick that just once. The other option is to change the background color when you're displaying posts. So previously it was the green I showed you. You know, we can change it to orange. Now let's take a quick look at the participant view. So this is the participant view on mobile. Let's jump into activity. You can see it's been updated with all the most recent comments. And if I post something, um, I'll say hi there. I'm going to leave the name blank. You know, often your participants they want to be anonymous so that they can you know share their thoughts or questions privately. I'll post. Now let's jump back to the presenter view. Let's jump out of settings. There's a new post that's automatically going to show up, and you can see there it is. It's anonymous. And this one is, is private because we, we changed that setting. So until I choose to make it public, only me as the presenter can view it. This one I'm happy to make public. It can be displayed and you can see the display is now orange. So that's the activity feed. Um, I hope you enjoy using it. Uh, and until next time, have a good one. Bye.